So you've all seen the debates out there, steel versus aluminum, which is better? Steel is stronger, aluminum is lighter, but it's not as strong of a metal, so on and so forth. Here's the fact of the matter. If you're planning on keeping your trailer for an extended period of time, aluminum is certainly the way to go. Over the long term, steel frame trailers will oxidize and you will have to replace cross members underneath the trailer. Aluminum's not the case. Even with a heavily salted road and the new liquid stuff that they're using to de-ice the roads uh, with a pitted frame, you can just give it an acid bath in 10 or 15 years and it'll look brand new. So one of the best aluminum framed 7x23s on the market is what you see here. It's primarily used as a snowmobile style trailer, but you can use it for motorcycles and ATVs as well. And weighing under 2,000 pounds, your half ton truck, if you have that, will love you for it. So the framing structure consists of this heavy tube tongue here, and it actually kicks back 10 feet into the trailer. It catches some cross members along the way and strengthens the overall, overall frame of the trailer as well. 16 on center cross members, floor, roof, and walls. You've got a 2 and 5 16 coupler, manual tongue jack, breakaway battery kit, and 7 way plug for the lights. Now, it is worth mentioning that the entire frame of the trailer is all tubular, which is by far, in a way, the best way to build a frame when you're talking aluminum frame trailers. So on inline trailers, one of the more popular ways to load and unload sleds or snowmobiles is to load actually from the front. So you're going to use your front ramp door here, and you've just got your standard bar locks. I'm going to drop this ramp door down. It does have a single spring assist on the ramp, so we just drop this down. And you could hypothetically haul three sleds in here, even mountain sleds. I've heard it done before. Technically, this is more of a two-place. Um, but if you can squeeze three in here, so be it. I do recommend measuring your sleds just to make sure that can happen because what you've got in this particular size is you've got an 18-foot rectangle and a 5-foot V-nose, total length of 23 feet overall. So we've got some nice chrome accents here in the corners as well as the front wedge nose. You can see there's a nice loading light as well right up above the front ramp door. It comes in super handy at night. Screwless exterior running down the side. We've got a white front, pewter rear, very rich looking, very classy color combination in my opinion. Looks really nice. You've got a couple of fuel doors here. There's one here and one down at the end there and they are keyed the same as well as your aluminum wheels. And We put those aluminum wheels on torsion axles uh, as a standard feature on this model. All around the exterior of the trailer we have our LED clearance lights and turn signals and those are ultra bright at night which is the nice upgrade to the LED light. So you've got your rear ramp door here do the same deal as the front ramp door. This does also has a single spring assist. Door is extremely light. Again, aluminum frame really comes in handy here. Now, so the floor material that we went with here is what we call an Advantec floor. It has a really nice warranty, and it's one of only two flooring options that I would actually recommend using snowmobiles on, unless you're going to cover the floor with something. So the snowmobile carbides will tear up anything. I do not recommend linoleum, coin rubber flooring, even diamond plate. Uh, the Advan Advantec flooring is really the way to go. And again, unless you're going to put some ski runners in, which are those plastic guides that go up into the trailer. So moving inside the trailer, we even wrap that Advantech flooring up the wall to provide a nice kick plate, protects the walls from getting scraped and scuffed up by your sled skis. Uh, you can see we've got white vinyl walls, white vinyl ceiling. This has a six foot interior height. Now, if you're one of those people that have a side-by-side -side Polaris Razor, Ranger, even a Can-Am, we can raise the height of the trailer uh, to provide you enough clearance when you're driving in and out. Uh, also with the length, so this is just one available length available, we can actually uh, lengthen or even shorten this particular trailer based on what your needs are. So here's what that fuel door looks like on the inside. So the, uh, the idea here is that you can actually put a pump right through this door and gas up your machines that way. You've got a non-powered roof vent in the ceiling as well, and this is actually a side vent here. So there's one vent here, there's one vent on the other side down low toward the rear that you can't see there. When you're driving down the freeway, it actually forces air through the trailer in and out, and it flushes out the cabin of the trailer from any gas fumes you have from fueling up or from your sleds. So the idea is to bring your snowmobile in through the front, facing the rear, kick the rear end over, bring the next one in, slide it up the other way, kick the rear end over, and then hypothetically bring a third one in into this V-nose area here, just to give you an idea on layout. So you've got your standard uh, entrance door with an RV latch here. You've got a do uh, dome light switch. There are two dome lights and a switch just inside the door. And one of my favorite accessories here is this overhead cabinet. So you've got a nice coat hanger here underneath the cabinet, and it does have a nice top hinge on it. So you just raise up that cabinet door and you throw your helmets, 
on the inside. So last thing I'm going to point out is a, a nice solid RV door on the side. You've got your RV door latch. You can close the door from the inside to get you out of inclement weather. On the outside of the door, you have this nice lighted grab handle. So it's just a nice detail piece here. It actually has a soft glow at night when you're hooked up to your vehicle and the running lights are on. This will glow actually at night. So it's just a nice overall look to an already beautiful looking trailer.